Merci, Alexis. Um, I have a whole bunch of dignitaries I want to thank, but I, I want to start uh, by the people who usually get thanked last, but the people without whom we wouldn't be here today. I want to thank all the inc incredible Michelin workers here in Bridgewater. Um, I think you know that a, a big international company like Michelin uh, that has plants and fabrication facilities all around the world uh, has choices and options. And yes, you know, as we'll say, Tim and I stepped up with cash to encourage them to come here and, and show that we're willing to invest in the future of Michelin here in Nova Scotia uh, and in Bridgewater. But ultimately, the decision that Michelin's going to take is grounded in those things, because every jurisdiction would be willing to invest to draw in a larger plant and more jobs. You are the competitive advantage that Canada has. The quality of the work that is done here and in plants like it across the country is the one thing that continues to be the strongest selling point as we're drawing in investments from around the world to come to Canada to build the solutions that the, not just Canada, but the world is going to need for the future. And I've been to a lot of plants across this country, and I have, I mean, Rita is very and rightly proud of you, as everyone is, but very rarely have I seen the level of, of almost awe in the quality and the caliber of work, of creativity, of innovation done here uh, that is, uh, for me, exactly where Canada wants to be as we remain competitive in the, in the coming years. So thank you uh, for everything you've done over the past 50 years. I obviously want to thank Andrew, uh, the CEO of Michelin Canada, uh, Rita here at the plant, and everyone for having us here at this Michelin plant in Bridgewater. Happy to be here with Sean, Francois, Philippe, Cody, Alina, and Darren. Uh, and it's really good to be here uh, with Premier Houston. Uh, we have worked together on so many files about creating opportunities and growth for Nova Scotians, uh, building uh, a greener economy that continues to deliver great jobs uh, for people as we uh, continue to welcome in people from across the country and around the world uh, who just uh, love it here in Nova Scotia and want to keep uh, living here and raise their families here. It's always great to work with you, Tim. Uh, and I'm really, really uh, pleased to be here, of course, with Mayor Mitchell as well, who I have to tell you, you guys probably all know this uh, being local, but uh, uh, David is extraordinarily uh, thoughtful and passionate about growing Bridgewater and uh, the, the vision that he and the council have had that has uh, led to this happening is, uh, has been a huge, huge part of the success we're celebrating here today. So uh, uh, thank you, David, for uh, all your leadership on this. Mais avant de commencer, euh, je veux souligner que nos pensées sont avec les familles à Amqui euh, qui vivent des moments extrêmement difficiles. Euh, cette tragédie nous a tous bouleversés à travers le Québec, à travers le Canada. Euh, nous sommes de tout cœur avec les familles qui sont affectées. On remercie les premiers répondants qui ont été là dans des moments extrêmement difficiles. Et on va continuer d'être là pour soutenir cette communauté dans les, euh, dans les jours très difficiles à venir. But it's uh, great to be back here in Nova Scotia to talk about jobs and our work to build a strong economy right across Canada. More specifically, it's great to be here in Bridgewater today. Because if we want small communities to be thriving, vibrant places where people can be proud of their work, where young families uh, get to stay and grow, we need good jobs and great careers. And that's what today's announcement is all about. We're investing to help modernize Michelin's facilities here in Nova Scotia, which is securing people's jobs at this plant and creating new positions too. Of course, this isn't just good for your local econ economy, it's also good for the environment. More and more people want clean technologies in their lives, including electric vehicles. And we know that EVs require tires that are designed differently. These new modernized facilities will be able to manufacture tires that will respond to the global demand for EVs. And at the same time, Michelin will reduce pollution in their operations by electrifying key parts of the manufacturing process. So, like 
most Canadians, I came into, into this uh, day saying, okay, I understand that EV tires are probably slightly different from regular tires, but why? So I asked Rita, and I asked Troy, and I asked Mike, and I asked uh, uh, Jamie about the processes here. And the answers I got were absolutely fascinating. Um, first of all, EVs have a lot more torque, so the grip of the tire uh, onto, the, uh, uh, onto the wheel is really, really important. Uh, noise uh, is key. Uh, if you think if you have a really quiet engine and all you're hearing is really loud tires, that could be a problem. Uh, sorry, really quiet engine and you're hearing loud tires, uh, that's an issue you have to have. There's all sorts of efficiency challenges as well. And the work that's being done here uh, at the Bridgewater plant by these extraordinary workers and figuring that out in building those solutions for the future is something that is uh, really, really exciting to see and that people should be extraordinarily proud of. Aujourd'hui, on s'engage à soutenir Michelin pour aider à moderniser ses installations ici en Nouvelle-Écosse. Dans ces nouvelles installations modernisées, Michelin va produire des pneus qui vont répondre à la demande mondiale en matière de véhicules électriques. En même temps, Michelin va réduire la pollution liée à ses activités en électrifiant des éléments de son processus de fabrication. C'est une modernisation qui va créer et maintenir de bons emplois partout en Nouvelle-Écosse. So I want to take a moment again to thank our great Canadian workers here in Nova Scotia and across the country. Like I said, it's because of you that companies like Michelin continue to invest in Canada. It's because of you that we're able to build a clean tech ecosystem here and right across the country. With lithium from Alberta, rare earth elements from the north, nickel from Labrador and Northern Ontario, clean steel from Hamilton, clean aluminum from Quebec. And it's great workers like you who produce battery materials along the Avalon along the Avalon Peninsula, and assemble batteries and EVs along the Great Lakes and the St. Lawrence, EVs that roll on tires made here in Nova Scotia. Eight years ago, when we first got elected, we talked about climate change. And I know for Canadians the environment matters deeply, but the fight against climate change for decades was always put in the context of, oh, well, you can either protect the environment or you can grow the economy. You can't do both together. And eight years ago, when we got elected, we said, no, no, no. Not only can you do them both together, that's actually the only way to both build a strong economy for the future and protect the environment. You have to do them together. And I will admit that during those first few years, there was a lot of skepticism. There was a lot of people saying, I don't know, you know, it's, you're taking a hit on the economy. But what we're seeing right now, as Canada has moved into the uh, second place in the world in terms of battery supply chains, as increasingly companies from around the world are coming to say, can we produce our goods here with cleaner energy, and Canada being 80% clean energy already, is a huge advantage that we're continuing to build on. Are we going to be able to source, source critical minerals and, and resources sustainably with both environmental responsibility, because that's what customers around the world want, and good union or good, well-paid, middle-class jobs that are going to support families and the communities they live in? These are things increasingly people around the world are looking for. And that approach that we have been building deliberately is really starting to bear fruit. And it's bearing fruit right here because we get to do uh, the very happy job of explaining and demonstrating the extraordinary work ethic, quality, integrity, and abilities of Canadian workers themselves. That is what is so exciting. So as we move into this future, as we build these uh, EV tires as we build these EVs that will be powered by green energy, including uh, clean energy generated by wind turbines here in Nova Scotia, we're exactly on the right track. And it's not just companies like Michelin that are noticing. Just yesterday, the largest car maker in Europe, Volkswagen, announced that it has chosen Canada to build its very first battery plant in North America.
Francois-Philippe and I and many others worked really hard to attract this major investment. It's Europe's largest automaker and it's a major investment also in a very small community of St. Thomas, Ontario. With our highly skilled workforce, our clean energy, our abundance of critical minerals and our access to markets, Canada will continue to be an attractive investment destination with everything companies need to grow. Que ce soit pour les minéraux critiques, la fabrication de véhicules électriques ou d'autres domaines, le Canada devient rapidement un fournisseur de technologies propres dont le monde carboneutre aura besoin. Avec des projets comme celui de Michelin, non seulement on bâtit une économie forte, mais on poursuit aussi notre lutte contre les changements climatiques. On s'assure que nos enfants vont pouvoir respirer de l'air pur pour les générations à venir. In another way, we're fighting climate change while standing up for families and growing the economy is through pollution pricing. For example, a family of four here in Bridgewater will get a climate action incentive check worth $272 every three months starting this July. That's over $1,000 a year and it more uh, than makes up for the extra costs because of the carbon price. So it's how you fight climate change, how you encourage companies and businesses to innovate while at the same time putting more money back in people's pockets. Good jobs, clean air, support for families, that's what we'll continue to deliver for people here in Nova Scotia and right across the country. We don't have to choose between the environment and the economy. What we're building here and across the country makes it obvious that protecting the environment and growing the economy go hand in hand. So thank you for everything all of you have done to be here uh, to get to this point today. And it's with great pleasure that I now pass it over to Premier Houston. Thank you.